Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We're I am the Chipmunk Gamer, and I am here with our top five. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five top five games of August 2024. So let's get along with number five. Game number five is Harsh Shadows. This is my print and play version of the game. This is my manufactured version of the game. Rachel Bruner has made a fantastic game of hunting for a spy. It's pretty darn simple. You move to a location, you turn over a thing that allows you to have a clue. This allows you to have a clue. And then you can go over here and you can take a look at clues, red herrings, the, you do have to have all three of these items, which you find at various locations. And you have to have all three of them, and you have to have the red herring, which is the most difficult item sometimes to find. But once you have that, you then end up on the same spot as the spy, and you confront the spy with the evidence, you show him what you have, and the game is over. The discovery does work as a countdown timer along with your end timer. You of course can run into a convenient bomb, which you can use a diffusing kit, or you can use one of your items that you have to diffuse it. Bad news? that might be something that you actually need. So, number five, Harsh Shadows by Rachel Bruner. It's available, go get it, it is a great game. Game number four is One Car Dungeon. This is a fun little game. You have differing, four different characters that each have their individual power, which you can use one, generally once per level. You roll three dice, you set them up to your speed, attack, and defense. You, if you're next to your, you exceed their defense and they are lose one point, then they are gone. Likewise, if they attack you and their attack is greater than your defense, then you're in trouble. And you start losing points. First levels are easy. It progresses down 12 different levels and let me just say, it gets really, really hard. Take a look at this playthrough up here, and you'll see how hard it gets sometimes. There is also an expansion, which has a different board, a few different rules, two, four new characters that allow you to go and have even more fun. One card dungeon, a quick little dungeon crawler game, fun to play, 30 under 30. I hope you like this game. And let's go take a look at number three. Game number three is Pocket Landship. This is the manufactured version of the game, which I did back on Kickstarter. And this is the game I normally play, which is the print and play version. I do like taking print and play versions when I go out and play, especially outside, because if it gets destroyed, I can make a new copy really easily. This is part of my low cost print and play top five and this is just such a good game so what happens is you only fight the front you roll the dice see what happens let's re roll those okay they go from lowest to highest over here nothing will happen number four one damage to sponsors which are the sponsons Sponsons, not sponsors. And five, uh, retreat and repair, swap, swap with back. So then the land ship comes forward and then you go on ahead, you attack, and you have to place your dice where you want to have them based on what you're going to have. We're gonna repair the sponsons by one. We're going to attack right front. Uh, two, two infant artillery, one damage to a land ship, and over here we will second mud, no action. But you can place these any way that you want, it doesn't matter where they go, you get to decide. These are 
just placed in order that they roll. So this is Pocket Landship, a great one page, nine card game that does have a Kickstarter version of it that you may prefer. But this is my third most played game of August 2024. As an extra note, everything fits in one small little bag. And this is one of these games that when I put it out, I will play six, seven, eight times, one after another. So let's go take a look at number two. Number two is Star Wars, the deck building game. This is the leader's variant by Azure Death, as found on Board Game Geek. This is a really great solo variant. You will play as either the Rebel or the Empire. In this case, I am playing as the Rebels. So the Empire leader goes here. They go on ahead and start. You get the Stormtrooper. This will move over here. You can buy three. Anything up to three that is either a Re Imperial or a neutral player. They will always go for the largest capital ship that they can find. In this case, they will buy the TIE Interceptor that goes on over here at the end of their turn. They will go on ahead and put those cards over there. And then, of course, you'll take your turn with your cards. This is a great solo variant. Thank you, Azure Death. I really appreciate it. And I really hope you enjoy this game because this is where I bought this game for this solo variant. I was not going to buy it. So well worth playing, well worth having fun. I hope you enjoy this and let's go take a look at the top game. And my number one game is Doom 10 Crawler. This is a little tiny game that fits in a mint tin and it is a lot of fun. This is a brand new game to me, only sat on a shelf of shame for about three days. You have a rule summer, you have events, you have prestige, which you try and get more of, lore, which you definitely want more of. Your job is to go off and get the sun crystals and have them. You only have 12 energy, four oxygen. And this is a basic dungeon crawler in space where you go on ahead, you can encounter differing kinds of creatures. You fight against them. You can also encounter uh, events that happen, something like a rock slide. And of course you're rolling dice the whole time to see if you pass or fail or what you do. And of course you can have an NPC encounter. And what you're always kind of going for is this defines what you're doing each mission. There are two sets of mess missions with eight missions each. And you'll go on ahead and you're trying to get there and complete the mission. There is also an event. The events are kind of nice because you'll roll two different dice and you'll have to match up what you're going to do. So you end up with quite a bit of choices, 36 of them. And then of course, once you hit an objective, then you can go on ahead and see if you can pass it. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Doom 10 Crawler was my most played game for this month. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Take a look at this next video right over here. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Please like and subscribe.